Hey guys, Jester here. Today I'm going to be going over Dragon Magazine 93. So this was in January of 1985, quite a long time ago. I was just out of high school. Um, <laughs> the uh, articles in here, you've got uh, Page 8 is Life Beyond 15th Level by E. Gary Gygax. Um, basically, what this is about is um, up until this point in time, there was no Hierophant Druids. So if you were uh, 15th level, uh, or above 15th level, you had nowhere to go. So they just created the Hierophant Druid, and uh, so this article tells you all about that. Um, then you've got Thinking for Yourself on page 10 uh, by E. Gary Gygax. Um, it's just an editorial by him. Uh, and then um, page 12 is The Making of a Maloo by Arthur Collins. Uh, it's one DM's way of tackling the chore of campaign building. Page 18 is The Ecology of the Eye of the Deep by Ed Greenwood. Don't get it in over your head against this monster. Uh, page 21, Short Hops and Big Drops by Stephen Innes. Rules for Jumping and Leaping in the AD&D Game. Page 24, I pronounce a... Sh pronounce... <laughs> a Pronunciation Guide <laughs> by Frank Mincer. All the right things to say. Basically, this is telling you how to pronounce all the words in the Dungeon Dragon game. Uh, page 34, Agencies and Alignments by Merle Rasmussen. Dossiers on the spy groups of the top secret game world. And you've got Ira by Jos Josepha Sherman, a chilly story that will warm your heart. And then, in the back part of this, it's got a section for sci-fi. RPGs, and in, in this you've got Ares Log on page 70, The Marvel File by Jeff Grubb, talk about the Avengers uh, on page 71, New Ships for Old, Stefan Jones, Redesigning Starships in the Space Opera Game on page 74, New Brotherhoods, Peter C. Zelensky, page 78, this talks about minor cryptic alliances in the Gamma World Game. Uh, the Scenery of si Science Fiction by Kim Eastland and Dan Sample on page 80. Prize-winning science fiction miniature dioramas. Uh, Rare Wines and Ready Cash on page 82 by Tony Watson. Agricultural Trade in the Frontier. So this is chock full of, of stuff. And actually on the Marvel file in the Avengers, the first one you got there is Mockingbird. Okay, so really cool um, Dragon Magazine, but what we're going to be going over today is page 43, The Gypsy Train, designed by Richard Fashera. Wanderers and their wagons for use in the AD&D adventure settings. Now, basically, this is what the first page artwork looks like there, guys. Okay. Basically, what it is, it's a you get to create. There's the page. It gives the good. Uh, now here we go. You get to create basically this camp. Guess the. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. Um, and how you do that is with cutouts okay so basically you can there's enough cutouts on these two pages to do three wagon trains and the horses um, but you can just um, photocopy you know more of these and cut them out and make as many as you want um, and then the reason that uh, and, that, and that's pretty much the gist the, the gist of, um, of of that article it just tells you you know, it, it, it give, I mean, it tells you a little bit, gives you a little bit of um, 
characters in here like you, um, you meet. You meet. Yeah, you meet this girl here. Tells you a little bit about her, and um, she's a wood elf. Um, and this guy here, you know, you see, so you got some NPCs in there as well that you can add to the campaign. But the reason I'm doing that I wanted to go over this is because um, some of you may know, uh, I don't, don't know how many of you do, but, but I'm, a, uh, I'm a writer, a freelance writer for an RPG company called Gooey Cube. Uh, they produce uh, Dungeons & Dragons products, that's 5th edition, but they produce Dungeons & Dragons products and uh, they currently have a, a campaign going uh, called the Red Star Rising campaign. Uh, they currently are up to uh, chapter five, uh, which chapter five is uh, what I wrote. Um, the first four chapters are already published, and chapter five is in print right now, so uh, it won't, won't be long before that comes out. But in chapter one, called The Darkest Dream, um, you actually have a, um, a setup in there. Uh, basically, the pretty much the most, most of the, um, of that chapter, uh, you are in a gypsy camp. They're basically a traveling, uh, troop of performers. Um, and so, um, a lot, bulk of the adventure is in that setting. And for dungeon masters that like to try to, you know, create, um, you know, terrain and all that that sort of thing. It can be quite expensive having to, you know, one, it's so hard to find uh, wagon trains, you know, that looks like gypsy gypsy style uh, in miniature, miniatures anyway. And then once you can find something like that, it, it usually, usually you find it on Etsy. Um, it's real expensive. And, you know, so trying to get the tents and, and and, you know, then the carts and all that stuff. I mean, because the in in darkest dream, uh, <laughs> in darkest dream here, you've got a lot of tents and a lot of carts, and so just to create that one thing, uh, that one setup, which is like I said, is is you'll be using for for the majority of that first chapter, uh, it, it, quite expensive. So this is a very inexpensive way to create at least the the um, the wagon trains and the wagon train itself. Um, you still have to figure out how to do the tents, um, but um, but that, that that shouldn't be too hard. You could you could do that with toothpicks or, and um, and uh, paper, you know, as well. Um, and then you know you do, you can color these you know, with crayons or, or, or the, the the little felt mark not felt markers whatever the water watercolor markers is. You know, once you've print, once you've uh, copied them out and everything, or cut them out of the book here, I wouldn't actually suggest cutting them out of the book because that just kind of destroys the book. But just make photocopies of, of you know, as many as you need, and just use the photocopies to cut out and everything. But um, but yeah, you know that that so for my good cube buddies, you know, um, there you go. There's an inexpensive way to uh, to have your chapter one set up really nice at your table. Uh, in an inexpensive way um, so yeah there you go guys uh, that's all I got for today uh, thanks for watching uh, make sure you hit that like subscribe and notification bell uh, make sure you share with all your friends and until next time and as always see you soon